Today we are watching a blind date. I don't know how we found this. It has 1.9 thousand views and 15 comments. So I don't even know if it's good. This, this could be just be like a just plucked from oblivion. This random ass video that we're about to watch. But we're gonna watch two people go on a blind date and hopefully fall in love. Fingers crossed. Hello, my name is Samantha. I'm 20 years old. I'm from New Jersey. I now live in Conway, South Carolina. <laughs> I am a finance major. My name's Jordan, I'm 19. I'm from Polly's Island, South Carolina, and I'm a competitive surfer. Something All right, we got a finance major and a surfer, bro. This should be, this should be a match made in heaven, honestly. Interesting about myself. Hmm. There's so many things to pick from. Um, woo. I could talk. <laughs> Oh my god, if someone asks you what's an interesting thing about yourself and you have a hard time thinking of one, I think that means the opposite of there's so many things about myself. Oh, fucking, oh man, I'm just rifling through the things in my mind. Um, something interesting about me. Fucking finance major, oh, I already mentioned that. Um, fucking, uh, ah, oh, just kind of like, you know, thumbing through all the pages of interesting things about me. I'm trying to find the one, um... Fucking, oh, um. I mean, that's one right there. But I just stopped at a random page, you know? Oh my god, I've been itching to. Why <laughs> should someone date you? Honestly, they shouldn't. I'm crazy. I'm. I hate men. I mean, look at me. Off to a solid, solid start. Crazy to come on a dating show and be like, yeah, the whole purpose of this show, I'm horrible at it. And in fact, I hate men. I bet the producer's like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, what's up? Actually, no, they were probably like, fuck yeah, this is gonna be great, let's go. I mean, what else could you want in a guy? I'm under six foot, that's an automatic green flag. I'm just trying to have fun and I feel like men just pull me down, just ruin my life, cause I'm crazy. And sometimes I'm a bitch, so. All right, well, they both seem self-aware, you know? He pulled a little joke, he said, I'm under six feet, green flag, what more could you want? That's funny, a little self-deprecating, I like that. And she's kind of like, listen, I'm fucking crazy. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can be a bee. Very unsensitive. Like if, like if a guy cried in front of me, like I would like laugh in his face. Hell yeah, DB. Dined blate. <laughs> Why is it backwards? Why is it backwards? That says DB, right? Am I fucking? Oh, the dating blind. Oh, okay. It's called the dating blind show, but then the title is the blind date show. Which is it? Our next segment your guys' ideal date. Okay, my ideal date is um, dinner with Kim Jong-un himself. That is like a dream goal of mine to meet that man in person. I don't think he's real. What the fuck kind of answer was that? That's your ideal date? He's like, so what am I doing? Am I also there meeting Kim Jong-un? Because that feels like it's more about King Kim Jong-un, the dictator, than it is about the date that we're on. So if I could just, you know, have a nice four course meal with the guy, ideal first date, I would never live that. Oh, she wants to date Kim Jong-un. That's fucking crazy to just go online and be like, I want to, I would love to date a dictator. I could never forget the guy because like, it's like, oh, it's a day I met Kim Jong-un. Like, what? how do you live that down? I don't know. I like to take off. He's like, okay. I was going to say Disneyland, but I mean, I'm not I mean, I guess that would be fine. I don't know. Who is that? Who, Kim Jong-un? Who is that? My first dates to the aquarium is pretty notorious for me. Um, all my friends know that I take them all there. Might as well add you to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible fucking answer. Jesus Christ. Both of them are crashing and burning right now. That's my fucking move, so might as well add, might as well just distill you down to a fucking number on a list. Aquarium hose. Why do you take them to the aquarium? Uh, it's dark. Nobody can see your face. <laughs> So just take them to a fucking party. Nah. It's like the same thing. I like looking at fish. Okay. What's your favorite fish? I like sharks. Oh, I love sharks. I love a good fucking shark. This dude is eight years old. I like turtles. Um, I like turtles. Would you ever consider hooking up on the first date? Would I ever consider hooking up on the first date? I don't know. I think it depends because like if I don't like you, I'm just going to have like one of my friends fake a seizure and I have to go run and save them. But if I like you, like I guess you could get a little kiss, you know. I have not had sex on the first date. I don't know the person well enough yet. And if they have any fucking STDs or anything lingering around in their balls. <laughs> lingering around in their balls. Where are STDs stored? 
the balls, right? I don't even know. Is that true? I don't know. It's so funny. Yeah, I got a stockpile of STDs up in my fucking nads. Yeah, I got fucking gonorrhea, herpes, fucking you name it, all up in there. It's packed in my nutsack. Fucking STDs galore, just ready to splooge STDs. <laughs> don't squeeze my balls, you might get herpes. <laughs> no, because... Like I said, our first date would be to the aquarium, and I don't want to smell fish. You already smelled the fish all day, I don't understand. I don't want to smell it later on that day. Why does the pussy smell like fish after the aquarium? Like, was she swimming with the fucking sharks? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, no, she's she's giving it back to him right now in a, in a good way, because it's just like, what are you, you're not even making sense, dude. She definitely has a good sense of humor. And that's the number one thing that I look for because if you can't deal with my jokes, then I don't want to deal with your bullshit. I don't like the fact that he was trying to insinuate that all women's vaginas just stink after hitting the aquarium. Based off what you've heard so far, would you go on a date with her? Yes. I don't know. I don't know if I want him to take me to the aquarium because the whole time I'm just going to be thinking that he thinks my vagina smells. We would go to the aquarium and she would get to meet Kim Jong-un at the aquarium. Does my vagina- What the fuck is going on right now? What the fuck is going on? Does Kim Jong-un's pussy stink from the aquarium? That's the real question here. Is Kim Jong-un, he probably has a pristine puss. It probably doesn't smell at all. This is the fucking weirdest first date I've ever watched in my entire life. But then I'm like, they're just like young, it's whatever. But like people on Love Island are also 20. They seem to have a decent amount of ban- a ba uh. Dinah stink? No. What do you think she looks like? She sounds around my height. I shower regularly. Under six foot, of course. She sounds my around my height. I, I would, how could you tell that from her voice? I don't know, you fucking just sound short. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I know it's like sort of a thing, but like imagine if girls were like, you have a short voice, your voice is short. How long have you been single? I've been single since, what, September, I guess. I met some guy when I first got down here and we dated for a week. <laughs> After that week, we broke up. I don't know, I guess you could say he thought I was crazy. But I just don't think he knew me well enough. And he asked me to be his girlfriend at the bar while I was drunk. And I woke up the next morning and like didn't even know if we were together or not because I was drunk. So one week is crazy. I only knew him for a week beforehand. So you could say that's crazy on his part. Nah, I could definitely say it's crazy on your part too. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, he thought I was crazy. That's why we broke up. So the last relationship I had was back in May. It lasted two months. We broke up because she just stopped giving the same energy. And I ended things. And then since then, um, I've been single as a Pringle. How long ago was that? Single as a Pringle. Pringles are not single. Pringles come with like 30 other chips. They're like fucking polyamorous as hell. They're like the opposite of single. They're fucking cohabitating with like 30 other chips. I all live together in a tube. And they're all fucking ass to dicks to ass. They're in a fuck stack. They're in an absolute human centipede, a chip centipede in there. So that's the furthest thing. You can't say single as a Pringle. It makes no sense. Do the math, May. Oh, okay, you fuck. I didn't hear you. Yeah, this is hor this is a horrible flirting. They're just insulting each other. Like, is this, this is not fuck, this is not game. He's just like, no, nah, I think you're a crazy bitch, actually. Fucking do the math. Duh. Favorite word. Oh my God, are we soulmates or what? No. <laughs> so what's one thing you want the other person to know about you? One thing I want the other person to know about me is I don't smoke or drink. So that's like a big red flag for me. It's not- <laughs> She went, ooh, <laughs> ooh, yikes. An ultimatum, but I don't do it. So I don't expect a lot of it. I drink. <laughs> I like to go out. I like to have fun with my friends. I enjoy drinking. If you were in a committed relationship, what would you consider cheating? Probably having like your dick sucked by another girl. You know, I don't know, kissing. Like, flirting's one thing, but like as soon as like another bitch's tongue is down your fucking throat, like that's a problem. We have a problem. I think if you're just like talking to a guy, even if it's your like boy best friend, you know? So you just think they shouldn't have a boy best friend? Yeah, because I should be your boy best friend. I mean, I agree with that. I can't even, like, hate on that. <laughs> That's the most hostile way to agree ever. They're both just still being so hostile. I mean, I fucking agree. Okay, fuck. You're kind of fucking spitting right now. I want to be your best friend.
So what? Fuck. You know, on like girl best friends, like if a guy. Had I a wouldn't girl have one. Friend, you wouldn't have one. No. Okay. Do you have a mom? Yeah, I love my mom very much. Mm, okay. Do you have a mom? Do you have a mom? Do you I have do. a dad? Do you have daddy issues? My dad is dead, but that explains it. Dude, you're dating her. You're not supposed to be demolishing her. What are you doing? Crazy move to like neg her after uh, she just admitted that her dad died. That's crazy. My dad actually passed away. Yeah, explains a lot. <laughs> right, fellas? Yo, dude, her fucking dad's dead. Yeah, I know she's a dead dad. I can fucking tell it. You know, you're talking about how her voice sounds before. Her voice to me sounds like she has a dead dad. I can, I can sense the loss in her voice. If you were dating each other and you got into a big fight, how would you go about resolving it? If we got in a big fight, what would I do about resolving the fight? I would tell you that to suck it up. I mean, you're not gonna worry about it a week from, from then unless it was like something insane like cheating or anything. And if that's the case, then you wouldn't be having to worry about it the next week. <laughs> if we got in a big fight, I would just be like, let's fuck it out because, you know, why are we fighting when we can just be fucking and quiet? You know, that's valid. I like your answer better. <laughs> That's valid. Okay, okay, I'm coming around on this girl. <laughs> I was like being a dick to her before, but no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you now. I'm with you now. Let's fuck it out. Perfect answer to give to a dude too. You can just tell that completely changes. Now he's like, I'm kind of fucking in love with this girl. What's a red flag you see in a guy? A red flag I see in a guy is having like a lot of girl best friends, and his whole Snapchat is just girls and they're blonde. A big red flag for me is a lack of communication. I mean, if you can't, if you can't text me, I'm not expecting you to text me every minute of every day, but I'd like to hear from you every now and then during the day. This dude has trust issues, 100,000%. That's valid, I like that. What are two things you hate about your ex? What are two things I hate about my ex? Weirdly, it kind of seems like they're gonna fall in love. Weirdly, at the end of this. They're so wrong for each other, but they keep agreeing. So maybe they're perfect for each other. Lack of communication. I don't really have a second one. That was just the biggest thing. It was just so much that I couldn't deal with it. She just what, didn't text you back or like? Yeah, I mean, there'd be times where she would go out with her friends and I didn't mind that. And I just wouldn't hear from her till like the next morning or maybe mm. later the next day. And I'd be like, where the fuck were you? And she was like, went to the aquarium. I'm like, without me? I knew I smelt the bluefin tuna on you. I knew it! She was fucking somebody else. Yeah. She was fucking somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was busy. That's why she couldn't text you back. Yeah, exactly. Two things I hate about my ex. Mm. That's such a hard hate is such a strong word, you know, but probably that he had like all these girl best friends and you know, he would dance with them at the bar and do stuff like that. Ooh, I don't know. I just feel like his goals in life weren't really there. What kind of goals? Like his life goals? Yeah. Gotcha. Cause I'm, I'm big that way too. I won't date a girl that doesn't have goals. I like to know what you plan to do within the next five or 10 years. My whole thing that I always say is I want to be a CFO by the time I'm 30. I guess I respect the um, concreteness of it. CFO by the time I'm 30. Last year, and I'm opening up a surf shop in the next year. Being as young as I am, I like the girl to have goals as well. Okay, that's good. How, you're, how are you doing with that? <laughs> She's like, my goal is a little bigger than yours. No offense. Uh, why am I saying no offense? What the fuck? <laughs> am I saying that is her? <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, you could be a different level of C CFO. Like all types of companies have CFOs and who knows, maybe a surf shop turns out to be the fucking biggest thing in the world. But you know, right now it's like CFO. And he's like, yeah, but I, I dropped out. I'm gonna start a surf. I'm gonna start like a local surf shop. So I want my girl to have big dreams. So CFO is pretty good. She's like, eh, well, you know, you'll be selling skateboards. I'll be on boards of directors. I'll be up in the Fortune 500, and you'll be fortunately 50-50ing. <laughs> Fuck, that was so bad. Both of those. Hey, if you're if you're opening up a surf shop, good on you. I'm not shitting on your goal at all. Uh, it's going. It's a process. Do you surf? Like that's yeah. why. Okay. I've never surfed before in my life. I'll teach you. Can I wear that, like, surf suit? You could wear nothing. Oh, okay. I don't want to, like, get my titty bit off by a shark, but if that's, you know... I won't be getting bit off by a shark, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. That was funny, and then he fucked it up. I'm going to be biting your titty meat. <laughs> I was going to joke and be like, sharks... We all know sharks, they go for the titty meat. 
you know? But then the dude was like, actually, I also do. <laughs> She's trying to learn how to surf. He's just, he's just sucking on her boob. She's like, can, fuck, can you fucking just teach me? You said you'd teach me. You said you'd teach me. I don't know why I was, why am I, I'm naked right now, but. Crazy thing to say. You could wear nothing. You could wear, you're not going to fucking teach her how to surf, dude. You just want to fuck in the ocean and get a fucking UTI in your balls from the salt water. That's probably how that works, right? <laughs> I love Soul Surfer, but you wouldn't be my Soul Surfer. You'd be my soul mate. <laughs> but I have an arm. Even better. <laughs> when and how did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on a floating What? Ref. I was stuck at sea for three days and the Coast Guard had to come save me. Was this a cruise? <laughs> No, I just like me and my friends thought it would be funny to blow up an inflatable pool and flow in it and then we float it off. So the only thing that we could do to keep warm at night was uh make love. I can think What? That's the craziest fucking story on earth. How is she so nonchalant about that? That is fucking insane. You fucking floated off into the middle of the ocean? I mean I guess if you're like gonna die, you might as well lose your virginity first. That's Fucking crazy. How are you just like, yeah, fucking, it was just, uh, we were weird back then. It's like, you fucking, that's some castaway shit. Think of like five different things to keep warm at night. <laughs> that's not making love. I guess you've never seen the show Naked and How old were you? I was 16. Okay. I lost mine when I had just turned 16 to my like first actual relationship. We had broken up. We had lasted four months and we had broken up. And then a week later, she gave me a booty call. Wait. You broke up and then had sex after you broke up? Yeah, she broke up with me and then a week later called me telling me I'd come over. Why did she break up with you? No clue. Okay. Broke up with me over text. Oh wow, that's rough. That's actually brutal. Yeah, no clue because my lines are so fucking sick. I was hitting her all day with the fucking, let me get your, let me fucking, you better watch those titties around me because I'm gonna ah, bite those things right off. I'm sorry to hear that. I wouldn't break up with you over text. I, I would wouldn't break up with not. you at all. Okay. <laughs> what is your body count? What is my body count? Two. My body count is I'm actually, um, I re-virginized myself and found Jesus. So I'm actually at negative two right now negative currently. Two. Yeah. What was it before you got re, re jesus Oh, it was just zero. <laughs> Bullshit. Five. Yep. Now I'm at negative two because God forgave me. For seven? No, for five. But... That's not good math. What math are you mathing? You said negative two. Yeah, because God forgave me for the, the negative two that I shouldn't have done. So does that mean the next two don't count? <laughs> no, it means you guys cancel each other out and that you're, you're both virgins at zero. It means I'm waiting for marriage because I found God and Jesus. I got a ring right now, shawty. All right. She's saying that like, she's, she's saying that like it's sarcastic, but I think she's actually being serious because she's wearing the cross right here. So I think she thinks she de-virginized herself. That's crazy. I mean, I feel like maybe she's joking, but this is a wild show, man. I'm kind of enjoying this. Get down on a knee, let me say. You get down on both knees. <laughs> Damn, dude, it's crazy. 20 year olds just say degrading shit and everyone's like, ah, classic, fucking, you are a fucking classic guy. You can get down on both knees at the aquarium, check out my shrimp. I only get down on my knees to pray. Yeah, same. But maybe we can pray together. Good, how about after that? <laughs> <laughs> Why well, get off my knees? Damn it. You can only pray for so long. But you can fuck all night. <laughs> What's the longest time that you fuck someone for? Wow. I think record time for me was about 43 seconds. You know? 43 seconds? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think I got about three strokes in. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I'd probably fall asleep before that was over. Valid. Why am I watching this? What the fuck am I doing? What about you? The longest time I've had sex. What's the longest you've ever fucked someone? That's not a good question. A good question was what's the fastest you've ever done it? Like what speed? 16 humps per second, 38 humps per minute. I mean, I could probably go faster. Didn't even hit the NOS button. The NOS button is just when you squeeze your balls. That's the NOS button. X4, like actually, or we want a joke? No. Because yours was clearly a fucking joke. Probably like 
Seven minutes was the longest, I'd say. What is the freakiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? Freakiest thing I've ever done in the bedroom. One time I got a thumb up my ass. It was kind of unexpected. He kind of just like, you know, spit on my ass and then stuck it in there. I can't say that I disliked it. It was something, but like, it was definitely uncalled for. Freakiest thing I've ever done. My last girlfriend made me dress up in a Fortnite costume and um, <laughs> run around the room. Like doing Fortnite dances or? Yeah. Did you uh, play with I her tilted it. towers? <laughs> nah, but I fucking bit her titty off, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> How is that sexual at all? How is that a freaky thing? He's fucking in a Fortnite costume, he's doing this. And she's like, oh yeah, come here, I'm sucker dick. And he's like this, just getting his DS in the T pose. We actually got, mm, yeah, we did get tilted. <laughs> I actually got the victory royale that night. Wow. Nice. What do you think the other person looks like? I heard you talking crap about blondes, so I'm gonna assume that you're not blonde. You definitely have dark features. I would guess curly, wavy hair, and probably kinda short. What the fuck is kind of short? Like five, three, five, oh. four. I think he looks like, like I said, it looks like he wears hey dudes. Now that I know that he's a surfer, he probably- He nailed it, just nailed it. He has like, I don't know, fucking curly blonde hair. <laughs> I guess he's tall since he's saying that five, three and five, four is short. So I'd say he's tall. Cause them short kings don't like them five, four bitches. <laughs> they like them bitches petite. I mean, I think he's kind of funny. Like he seems cool. He's not the worst person ever. It started out pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, but he's like, all right, bare minimum, cool. Uh, my thoughts on her. I still like her sense of humor. It does sound like she does go out and party a lot which is all right. So could you see yourself going on a date with him? Could I see myself going on a date with him? I don't know, he's kind of fucking annoying. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my God. Well, I agreed, I mean. I have to make that decision after I saw her. Looks are a good 70-30. Like, I mean, you wouldn't go for somebody if they weren't if you weren't attracted to them. I just like don't like men. And like, I don't, like if he's bringing me to the fucking aquarium, like absolutely not, I can't. He's kind of fucking annoying is like the biggest dish you could have said right there. That was like, I mean, you destroyed him. I mean, that one, I don't know, it's kind of fucking annoying. Just the offhandedness, I don't know, it's kind of fucking annoying. Just, <laughs> he's gonna watch that and just be like, ah, fuck. What is aquarium bullshit? But like, I get it now that he's a surfer. Like, I guess I understand. I just don't really think I like surfers. I like that she has a goal, a CFO. I almost asked what a CFO, CFO was, but I didn't want to seem stupid. I just feel like they think so fucking highly of themselves because they're like, I surf, bro. Chief froth officer. It's like when it's pumping, they try and go out there and get tubed. That's when you turn to the officer and you go, Chief, it's frothing. Or, I mean, I'm frothing. I'm frothing to get out there. Like. But she does agree with me with the communications. So that's cool. Surfers just always look like that penguin from Surf's Up. Like, that's just what they look like. I also look like that. That's me. Because I like people's personality. I think, like, if you can make me laugh, like, my eyes are closed while I'm laughing. So, it's the big deal about what you look like. I'm a gentleman. You could go first. What's your favorite color? I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. You can go first as long as you're on your knees. Colorblind. So, um, that's not the best question. But what color are your sheets at home? Black. But late at night, they turn white. <laughs> Why? Because you fucking jizz all over them? Yeah, because you couldn't catch it all. Um. <laughs> horrendous thing to say. Unfortunately, horrendous thing to say. <laughs> uh, do you have any tattoos? I don't. You do not? No. I have a lot. Do you like tattoos? Yeah, I like tattoos. I just don't think I'd ever get one myself. Why not? Because I want to work in the corporate world and... These days, if you have a tattoo. Oh, wait, wait, that's, oh, right, corporate. That's what a CFO is, right, yeah, corporate world. Yeah, I knew that, fucking, yeah. You even get one that you could hide? Like, maybe I'd get, like, fucking one on my pussy lip. I don't know. Can I convince you to get a W on each ass cheek? Wow. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. All right, dude, you got me there. That one's pretty funny. That one was not horrendous. That was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'd get mom and the O, you know? I mean... It could be mom or wow, whichever way you're sitting on my face. Um. <laughs> okay, that was kind of clever, but it was gr if it can, it's fucking a little bit intense. It's a little bit fucking intense, but it was, he did, he did, he was pretty quick with that one. Wow. <laughs>
He's just gonna ruin it too. I know he's just gonna ruin it. Yeah, or whatever way I'm fucking jizzing in your butt. Questions for me? Like, what hobbies do you have? I don't know. Anything with the board, surfing, skating, snowboarding. I go to the gym every day. Yeah, that's pretty much my whole life. Surfing? Yeah. Okay. I've been doing that for about 10 years. Wow. Surfing is like the only thing when you surf. You wake up at fucking 5 a.m., you go out there for like three, four hours, you come back, you eat, you nap, and then you just go back and do it again. It's like the only, and it's the fucking best. Do you have any hobbies? Not really. My hobbies are class. Really? And I like shopping. Is that a hobby? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I enjoy shopping. Are you high maintenance? Um, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I'd probably say yes. Yeah? That I'm high maintenance. So if we went shopping, you'd run my whole card? Oh, you're paying? I mean, I'll always pay for the first date. Oh, so the first date's not the aquarium, it's the mall. I'll buy you any type of fish you want, baby. Pick, no, please, pick a fish. It's on me. Oh? I mean, we could go both. You have money like that? Uh, I'll sugar daddy you, yeah. Wow, I love that. I've been looking for one of those. She was struggling to... They've done fucking thoughts five times figure out things to ask me i don't find him funny i don't find him interesting i don't like surfing which is kind of bad because we haven't even met each other oh my god this is crashing and burning this is fucking hilarious can't even keep a conversation she still has a good sense of humor and i like that he seems so bland could i imagine myself on a second date with this man no because he'd probably just talk about surfing the whole time and i'd probably want to kill myself yeah i mean we could go on a second one, probably have a few good laughs. I don't know if anything would happen after that. How big is his cock? Not massive. It's giving little cock energy. What a ridiculous question. Jesus Christ. Imagine the fucking producer being like like a like a man just being like, How big do you think his cock is? <laughs> Land. I just couldn't see him, you know, fucking good, having a big dick, you know. No, like, chase your goals, like, that's cool. But, like, how many fucking surf shops are down here in Myrtle Beach? What's the, what's different about his? Myrtle Beach! Okay, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. But this whole date makes a lot of sense now. Surf shop. Like, is it, like, Hollister and the guys stand outside with their shirts off? Because I'd attend. But, like, besides that, like, I just don't, I don't know. If he needs someone to do his finances, he can call me. I'm looking for an internship, so. This is, she was pretty funny. Honestly, that was like weirdly entertaining. I mean, I don't know. This is just going to be awkward. Three, two, one. Take your blindfolds off. Oh. <laughs> wow, I can't see shit. Hi, I'm Jordan. Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Awesome. Where are you from? Jersey. Jersey. Mm, Where are you from? Red flag. You could tell, okay? No, just red flag. Maybe we should have talked about that earlier then. But I like surprises. I'm from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That mm -hmm. adds up with the yeah. surf shop and mm -hmm. everything. I see the tattoos. Yeah, I got a lot. I got some going down my leg too. But okay. I want like a ton more. The hey dudes, he is yeah. wearing them. When you said that, I literally looked at my feet. I was like, oh my mm -hmm. God. <laughs> my mom has those. Is your mom hot? I like hot moms. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Well, that was actually kind of entertaining. I kind of like, I kind of enjoyed that. Maybe I'll just, this, dude, this channel has 540 subscribers. I almost feel like we shouldn't be watching this. They haven't really figured it out yet. We're like put, putting them on blast. Uh, maybe we'll watch another one. I don't know. Depends. But that was kind of entertaining. Kind of like that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hit like if you liked it. I'm not going Goodbye. home. I'm on the dance floor till I'm all alone. Let's go. Does Kim Jong Un's pussy stink from the aquarium? That's the real question here. Hold it down till the till the club is closed. I'm pussy up till they say I gotta. How big do you think his cock is? <laughs>